morning, Britain's suspended MP Lee Anderson still refuses to apologise. Oh, and I'm a... People yeah. need to be specific yeah. about the problems, mm. and, and then it's legitimate yeah. to call out whatever problems yeah. there are in yeah. London or any... People being targeted exactly. and abused it's, simply but, because of their religious addictions mm. that you've had to alcohol, to drugs, other things. Did you realise that you were becoming addicted to food or that that was even a thing? Eating disorder is the most common yeah. eating disorder. We assume it would be either anorexia or bulimia. Yeah. The biggest problem we have mm. is mental available. health. There's easy access, I need help, right, here's an appointment today. Mm. Eat does offer support, Yes. doesn't Is that easy they to help get? Because, because they will be wondering what you're referring to. This is a Conservative, former government minister, Paul Scully. Um, he's an MPV with the BBC. Uh, that there are religious no-go areas in Birmingham and East London. Let's have a listen. I, I, I don't even want to infer what he... I think what, I think he, what he, means. he, he, he uh, This is Brendan Cox, yeah. uh, who said uh, uh, some pressure now, uh, let me just lay this out for the viewers. Growing pressure after questions were raised about whether she have, should have paid capital gains mm. tax on the sale of her former council house. Um, she bought the... Good morning, Britain. Is that story for real? I Are they thought really making... it was April the 1st. <laughs> now, I don't want to... Well, I should do a spoiler alert for Richard's uh, entertainment news in an hour and a bit. But it is coinciding with the 50th anniversary of Jaws, the show... It's like something out of a, a, a futuristic novel. <laughs> is it? Uh, I tell you what, I won't be doing it. You, you, could, no, not, you could not pay me no. to go and swim with sharks. I presume there'll be some kind of cage involved at some stage. I don't know, but things... I mean, look, we all know about television. Things go wrong. ...reality show experience that went wrong. Did, did I? What was that? And then you got yeah. poorly. I got extremely Have poorly. Have you erased that from your mind? <laughs> Can't wait. Would you consider it? <laughs> Just ruled out then. Um, <clears throat> uh, but we'll find out from Richard Arnold how they're getting on with the recruitment process <laughs> for sharks, yeah, celebrity who, and festive who waters. Would you have to be a bit desperate to say yes to that, wouldn't you? Don't look. All right, okay, don't sorry. All right. Say right. that. Okay. <laughs> Oh, never say never. Never Richard say never. May. No, that's true. You never know what no, you might need. Exactly. Bills have to be paid. Um, <laughs> right. At four minutes past six, our main news this morning is that the controversial MP Lee Anderson is doubling down on his comments about Sadiq Khan, which saw him lose the Tory party whip on Saturday. Yeah, this one isn't going away. Uh, the former Conservative Party's deputy chair has admitted that his words were clumsy, but that's as far as he'll go. He's refusing to apologise for saying that Islamists control the London mayor and therefore control the capital city of this nation. The Prime Minister has addressed the comments, but he has refused to call them out as Islamophobic. He won't say the word. Our political correspondent, Louisa